Hello. Welcome to my channel, where we are talking about design, drafting, and construction. In this tutorial, we will create a grid for a steel structure in Revit for a cozy pizza restaurant in the Chicago area. Open Revit. Choose create a new project using an imperial structural template when you are in the US, or metric template if in your area metric units are used. Click OK. The new project will be created. Create vertical grid lines. Open site plan. In the architecture tab, find the grid tool located on the far right side of the toolbar. You can use also the shortcut GR to initiate this tool. Place the cursor exactly where you wish to start a grid line. Left click to start the grid line. Move the cursor to the spot where you want to end the grid line and press the left button. You can also enter a numeric value instead. To show a not visible grid bubble, check the little box above the created grid line. Once you have your first grid line established, you can set up a distance to the next by typing the value in the offset box. Next, click on the green offset pick lines tool in the draw section of the menu. Add the next grid line on the left or right side of the previous one, and then repeat the process. The grid lines are named automatically but you can interrupt and change the naming sequence of future grids by double-clicking in the bubble and changing a name. You can change the name of the grid afterward. If you want to adjust the scale of the view, you can choose a scale from the standard scales or you can even make up your own. If you want to move the entire grid line, select all grids and you can move them by using the move tool. Create horizontal grid lines. To draw the horizontal grid lines the procedure is exactly the same as drawing vertical grid lines. Once you have drawn the first grid line, you adding the other grid lines by specifying the offset from the previous grid line. It is that easy. Here, by typing A in the bubble, I am establishing a naming sequence to start with the letter A.
If you made a mistake and you want to adjust the distance between the grid lines, all you need to do is to place a dimension line between the grid lines and typing a new distance. You can change the properties of the dimension lines. They are fully customizable. Go to the properties and change the parameters you need to adjust. I am changing the color to blue and the text background to transparent. You can add or remove dimensions from the string by invoking the Edit Witness Lines tool on the ribbon. You can freeze the distances between the grid lines by locking the dimension lines between them. You can adjust the length of the grid lines by grabbing and moving a grip at the ends of the grid line. As you can see the distance between grid lines is locked. 